Hi, my name is Mark. I'm the lead keeper of reptiles here at Brookfield Zoo. And for National Serpent Day, I wanted to take this opportunity to introduce you to a few species of serpents that we have here at the zoo. So the first species I want to introduce you to is the Thai bamboo racer, who I have in my hands here. These guys are found in northern Thailand in very mountainous areas where it's very cool, very humid up in the mountains. These guys will tend to stay down in the leaf litter and under clumps of moss, staying hidden most of the time. They'll come out to hunt their prey, which would be rodents. They are a species that lays eggs when they reproduce, so they would hatch, the young would hatch out of eggs. Not a whole lot is known about these guys. Uh, there haven't been a whole lot of studies done on them. However, they are quite popular as pets. As you can see, they're a very beautiful species of snake and a very docile, calm species of snake. So that leads to people wanting to keep them at home. So here at Brookfield Zoo, you can find uh, this guy living here in the uh, clouded leopard rainforest. The next species of snake I'd like to introduce you to is the tentacled snake. So they're native to Southeast Asia where they're found in small lakes, rice paddies, slow moving streams. This is a species that's totally aquatic. They spend their whole life underwater. They can stay underwater for about 30 minutes at a time. When they only need to come up, take a breath of air, they go back down. These snakes give birth in the water and the young are born live and they come out and they immediately stay underwater from that point. They can grow to about three feet in length and these snakes are what we consider a venomous snake, but they are a rear fang venomous snake. So as opposed to something like a snake of the viper family or in the cobra family where their teeth are actually hollow and act like a needle giving an injection, their teeth, the rear teeth are grooved and when they bite the fish that they eat, they actually sit and chew and work the venom into the fish, and the venom is actually specific to the fish they eat. They are not considered dangerous to humans. When hunting, they will anchor themselves with their tail to a, a stick, a branch that's in the water, and then they will try to mimic a branch sitting in the water. And if there's current, they'll actually flow with the current in the water. The two tentacles sticking out of the front of their face right here, those actually work as a sensory mechanism to help them detect where the fish are and they will actually anticipate the movement of the fish before they strike, allowing them to be really, really good hunters. You can find the tentacled snakes out at the Clouded Leopard Rainforest here at Brookfield Zoo. All right, the next species I wanna introduce you to of our serpents is the reticulated python. The reticulated python is the largest snake found in Asia. At full size, these guys can top 20 feet and weigh several hundred pounds, so it's a very, very large snake. The thought to be the largest snake in the world, the anaconda is generally considered to be the heavier snake. They get a lot heavier body than this. They are a constrictor, so she would ambush her prey, come out, grab them, and slowly squeeze them and suffocate them and then consume them whole. Pythons lay eggs, and they are one of the species of snake that will actually sit with their nest, curl around the eggs, and move around on the eggs, thereby generating a little more heat to help raise the temperature for incubation to help them uh, develop further. Right now, she's nowhere near full size. She's about nine, 10 feet right now, so she's got a lot of growing still to do. She's still fairly young, so we're looking forward to seeing her grow over the years. You can come and see her at the Reptile and Birds Building at Brookfield Zoo. All right, the last species of uh, serpent I have for you today is a fox snake. And this is a snake species we can find right here in our own backyard in Illinois. These guys will get three to four feet long at full size. Uh, they're called a fox snake because they can emit a musk uh, as a defensive mechanism that smells a lot like a fox would smell. And it could scare away a potential predator. Another cool thing the snake does is if it feels threatened is it can take its tail and vibrate it really fast. And if that's in a pile of leaves or twigs, it'll buzz very similar to a rattlesnake. And that's another way that the snake will try to ward off a potential predator. These guys are really great if you have them around your house, if farmers have them around their fields, their barns. They eat an incredible amount of rodents and they can really provide a great pest, natural pest control for people who want to keep rodents out of their homes. 
So you can see the fox snake at Feathers and Scales here at Brookfield Zoo. And I just wanna thank you all for spending some time with us on National Serpent Day. And please come on out and see these and our many other species of serpent friends that we have out here.